Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be filming a huge sheet in haul. This is a box that I got and I haven't shot from here for a while. I ordered this uh, I think last Saturday so it took a good week and a half to get here. But I was so excited when I went back to my parents house that it arrived that I just had to come home, sort my face out and film a video. Now I ordered a few summer items and then a few home bits as well because I had no idea that Shein did home stuff and it was all pretty like reasonable pricing and it was kind of like AliExpress on this kind of things. They did not mess around with the tape. Ooh, okay. So first thing I see are two boxes so I'll start off with the shoes so these shoes I believe are were around 16 pounds and they are so Zara-esque it's unbelievable I love the look of them I thought that they would just be perfect not just for summer and not just for like my upcoming holiday but just in general like they are such a cool looking shoe what really really uh, attracted me to these is the heel as you can see it's just so unique and unusual we've got this like round bit going on here but I'm happy to see they've also got the rubber on the bottom so it's not just wood on the bottom and it's black suede look it will look really nice for like a summer dress a um, more formal outfit whatever oh okay so that's a little bit snug my feet do fit like they're not sticking out of the back and I like the way the back strap has got a little bit of stretch to it and I can see that these are going to be very comfortable because the heel is not out of point it's quite flat and it's just a really cute looking shoe so I'm definitely so happy I picked these up and they're going to be taking these on holiday with me exciting times the next pair of shoes that I picked up are a bit more summery definitely more summer appropriate and they are definitely brought in mind for my holiday and they look like this how cute they have got a croquet design and there's not obviously much support for the foot but i mean come on what a cute looking shoe this is i as you can probably tell already love a good closed shoe summer shoe these kind of shoes are my jam and i feel like as well they could really just complement any kind of outfit a maxi dress perfect um, wide leg trousers, perfect as well. Whatever kind of look you're going for, even blue jeans, these look really cute with them. So again, let's just try these on. Okay, they're a good fit. We've got a little bit of padding as well in the shoe, which is quite nice. So that makes it unexpectedly kind of comfortable. I don't know that I could walk for long distances with, with these on, but I think they are really cute. They kind of only go up to past the big bone of the foot. Um, so they don't give that much support and there's no strap. This, these would be perfect if there was a strap at the back to just stay on your feet. But I think these will look really nice. Maybe for like a, a more casual day, uh, a more casual summer day, more casual holiday day where you're not planning to do too much activities. Um, they will definitely be going along with me as well. So what I'm going to do is just pull up my sheet in order on my phone. Um, just to let you guys know the prices that I pay for this as well because sometimes I want to add them in when I'm editing but um, I'm trying to maintain consistency and I don't have the time to be adding every single thing in. Alright so the next item is really really cute and really in trend. They are these two-tone face design drop earrings and I got them for £2.45. Now realistically, oh my gosh guys, I was literally just going to say realistically looking at the amount of times I wear earrings I probably won't get the most use out of them and then it broke so I guess sometimes you get what you pay for but I am going to show you a close-up of these because they are super cute they are the typical sort of face earrings that um, have got gold and black going on I can stick this on quite easily with some super glue but that's a little bit disappointing that it broke so easy. I literally just took it out of the wrapper and it broke. I also got this little key ring for me and my sisters because I saw it and it was so unique and so cute that I just couldn't resist. It's a heart design key chain set and it was £1.63, which the girls are going to be like, oh, we really splashed out, didn't you? <laughs> but it is just the cutest little thing ever. Basically, it's a three-piece key ring set 
one for each sister. So I will have this one. This is the big sister. My middle sister will have probably the cutest one. The heart with the heart inside it. And then my younger sister is gonna get this little one. And on it, it says little sis as well. How cute. And they all fit together. So yeah, this is just a really cute little gift for them. A little surprise. By the time this goes up, they definitely will have seen it. Just a little, you know, I love them. Just a little something like that. All right, the next thing I got is this manicure set. Again, like I said, this haul is kind of random. There are some um, clothing bits as well, so don't worry. If you're just here for the clothes, they will come eventually. But this is a nail clipper set, and it was £1.63. So we've got a really sharp nail cutter there, and a standard nail cutter, some nail scissors, a nail file, some tweezers, and then two other like sort of cuticle tools. Really nice size. And again, for that super affordable price of £1.63, I kind of couldn't say no. The next item I got is a, a bar pendant layered necklace set. This was £2.45, and I've definitely seen similar things to this in Primark. I'm wearing a necklace, I have to change my hijab style up, and I am definitely a creature of comfort. I definitely sit there this very basic, but you know, functional hijab style all the time. However, I thought this was a very, I saw a super cute necklace set. So, yeah, look how pretty the necklaces can look. Just It just adds a little something extra to a look, which sometimes I feel like I do miss that because, like I've said in previous videos, style does not come naturally to me. My mom is definitely way more stylish than me, and that's a fact. <laughs> She's the one who's like, why don't you wear this or this? And I think these accessories will look great. And I'm just like, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna take your word for it because I, it just doesn't come naturally to me, but I want to try and add a bit more oomph to my style, especially like on times like the weekends and the holidays and things like that, where I'm not, you know, just doing my day-to-day -day normal, going to work, wearing my basic outfits and coming home. Oh, the next item I got is actually a free gift from them because I spent, a little bit too much money. And the nice thing about Shein is they always have some sort of promotion or deal going on. This is quite cute actually. This is a little Shein purse. It has their logo on it. It's got a very cute flower on it. And it's a decent size. When you take this out, it's a decent size. So I'm sure I can find a good use for that. Plus it's got a little keyring. So maybe even like on the keys, it could just have sort of emergency things like paracetamols, um, tissues, that sort of thing for when you're traveling. I got this four pack necklace set, which again is very Primark as I'm sure you can find something similar to this in Primark if you didn't want to order from Shein, but it was less than three pounds for four little braces. Ooh, the next item is in this cute little silver bag and it's basically sunglasses chain, a sunglasses chain because um, I'm the type of person to misplace my things very easily. And I know that I'm gonna want my sunglasses on me at all times in this holiday. And I think that having a chain is gonna be really helpful. Now I'm just gonna check on here for you guys. This is a minimalist glasses chain and it was £2.45. So hopefully it's gonna help me keep my sunglasses available at all times. And I hope it actually keeps them secure as well. So let's have a look. The chain length is not super long and there's a knot in it, which is a bit annoying. And it's a bit more yellowy gold than I had thought it would be, but the ends are kind of like made out of a loom band material. Yeah, basically it just goes around your neck like so. And then your sunglasses go in here and then you can obviously pull them down and they'll sit here, here-ish. So yeah, pretty decent for the price. I don't know if you can get this affordable anywhere else, but I just thought it was a really good price for a functional product, which would help me stay organized and keep my things together. Okay, finally some clothing items. I picked up this scarf print curved hem blouse, and it was originally apparently 17 pounds, and I got it for nine pounds, so I thought that was a pretty decent price. The print on it is just kind of a typical scarf print, blouse print really. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this all before. And it's, the good thing is it's not see-through. I'm just trying to see if I can see my skin through it. It's not, so I don't have to layer up with this. And I think this would be really, really awesome with a pair of wide leg trousers, whether they're cream, green, purple, whatever color, even black, because it just has so much going on. It's a fairly thin material, like it won't, I don't think it would make me feel hot, so it's a good like piece to wear without having to layer. 
and the sleeves are super long. So I'm excited to try this on and see how I feel. If I think, um, if I really like the fit of it, then I will definitely be taking this along with me because although I'm planning to wear mostly dresses on my holiday, um, I do love a good shirt. As you can see, I'm wearing a blouse today. And I think that they can look really, really classy and beautiful. The problem with the blouse I'm wearing right now is that it's quite see-through. So I have to wear a top underneath it. This doesn't seem to be the case, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I really like the print though, and I have nothing like this in my collection at the moment. And I think that personally, I feel like this is something that's always gonna be in style. Um, I picked up a size medium. So the next item I picked up is a gigantic sun hat, and I've never actually owned one of these. First of all, I thought this was so cute. It's literally like a straw hat. And it says on here, sun please. <laughs> um, and I just think that even with a hijab, like just because I wear hijab doesn't mean that I can't wear a hat on top. The question is, is it gonna fit my head? My head's pretty large. So I feel like with this, I'm going to have to keep my bun pretty low, but actually the fit is not too bad. And then you can kind of style it as you like. So. <laughs> Not that I got this for styling purposes. I think this would be really good for the heat. Uh, we're going to be going to Indonesia, inshallah. And if I look a bit funny in this, I don't really mind. As long as I'm feeling cool and comfortable and enjoying myself, I'm happy and good to go. Now to adjust my hat hijab situation. <laughs> I picked up these face mask packs um, because I was recently watching one of Claire, Hey Claire's videos. I absolutely love her vibe. She's so chill, she's so cool, and she knows so much. Um, and she was saying that she likes to buy these from Muji. These ones and the under eye ones from Muji. And these were a pack of 30 for £2.45, which I thought was so good. And basically they're just um, natural cotton sheet masks that you can then put your own products into to sort of allow it to sink into your skin. So if you've got any oils, any serums, anything that you really want to just let your skin sort of bathe in, that's a really good idea to use for these. I haven't got that many oils in my collection. I want to pick up a few more, but I thought this would just be a really good thing to have in my skincare collection so that I could um, treat myself to a sheet mask now and again. And Usually sheet masks are pretty expensive. They are a bit of a treat for me, definitely. So I think this is more of an affordable way to treat yourself to a really hydrating, moisturizing sheet mask experience. Okay, moving on to another holiday item. I picked up a waterproof phone case cover thing, which I was talking to my husband about, and he was like, you really don't need to get one of those because your iPhone is waterproof but there's just something so terrifying to me about the thought of dunking my phone into like the sea or into a pool or whatever. And I don't even know that I'm gonna be like, you know, filming underwater or anything. I doubt I will be, but this was £1.63. So I just thought I'd rather spend £1.63 on a product that is designed to do the job to sort of keep your phone safe from getting any water damage than to risk it. Um, and it seems to be pretty simple to use. It says it's got instructions on the back, you turn to lock and close. It's got a strap as well. So even if I don't use underwater, but I just have it kind of around my neck because I'm gonna have my camera as well. Um, and I, you know, I don't like having so many things to carry, especially when I'm in a new place or when I'm traveling. It, it can be like really quite dangerous to have, be carrying so much. So yeah, I thought this would be a really good addition. I'm gonna look like such a tourist, but I don't really care because I'm gonna be one and I'm excited about it. <laughs> um, the next thing I picked up, uh, well, I picked up two bags from Shein and they're both quite different and they're both quite random and neither of them are for the holiday. But anyway, this one um, is a drawstring bucket chain bag, originally £10.91, down to £4.93. Just looking at it, it's got a sort of velvety finish to it, and it's got a beautiful gold chain, which is quite substantially heavy. I like this, I really like this. The chain is actually thicker than I expected, which is nice. The material looks pretty cheap, but for like four pounds, you kind of can't go wrong. And I feel like even in Primark, you couldn't get something like this. Look at the little detailing or the pearls. Um, and for the look that you want it for, I think it does a pretty good job. If I just unhook this bit and hook this up, oh, perfect. So now it becomes more of a wearable length bag for me anyway. And then you can take off this extra bit of chain. 
How cool is that? For like a five pound, like less than five pound bag, I feel like that's so well designed. And then inside there is a little pocket as well. Um, and I think this is just a really cute bag for date nights, evenings out, that sort of thing where you don't want to be carrying a handbag. And I've definitely done it before where I've literally just taken one of my like day-to-day -day sort of handbaggy type of bags and uh, taken them out in the evening. And it just, it doesn't go with the whole vibe, you know? And I think this is really cute. And it's also an amazing price. So definitely, definitely do check that out if you are looking for a new bag yourself. Okay, and the second bag is definitely more of a winter bag. I think this was like in their sale for that reason because most people probably wouldn't buy this now. But this was £12.90. I got it for £8.22. And it's a fuzzy chain tote bag. If you know me, you know I love a good tote bag. This is quite an unusual design. It's literally a big rectangle and it looks pretty much like a cushion it is so cute and warm and the handles are like this so actually i think this would work really well as like kind of like a little weekend bag and i like how i can hold it here comfortably and just sort of move about it looks so cute and especially for the winter time it's going to be perfect and then if we open it up we've got a zip fastening here and then just some lining here, space for your phone. And yeah, it's properly fully lined. I think it's really cute and it looks more expensive, I think, than it actually is. It's probably some knockoff of some sort of designer kind of bag. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I used to be absolutely obsessed with bags. I think that's my first thing that I became obsessed with collecting was bags. And then, you know, it became more like makeup and now, I definitely leveled off the bags and stayed away from buying more bags, but this is so unique and different. As is the other black one, I thought, well, I'm making an order anyway for holiday stuff, so I'm mad as well. And then I had to pick up three cushion covers. I actually picked up four, but then they refunded me for one because I think it must have been sold out for some reason. I don't know why they refunded it and it would have been nice to know, but anyway, all of these cushion covers were £2.45, which is such a good price for what they look like. Okay, so I've just opened them up and to be honest with you, you can definitely tell that they're like not the highest quality, but they are still pretty decent. So this was the first one I got. As you can see, it's got this beautiful palm leaf print on it and it's the nicest material from the three of them. Obviously with cushion covers, the nice thing is you can mix and match and chop and change and you know, change it for the seasons. It just adds a bit of pop of colour to whichever room you're putting them in. The second one I got is an I Love You case. It's really cute, it's pink, it's got the handwriting all written in one. On the back it's like a sort of cream colour. Um, it's not the softest material but I think it would just look really cute on, on a sofa somewhere and that again was like £2.50. Can't really go wrong. And then the last one, this is my favourite one, is a perfume bottle. It's got some French writing on it. Uh, La Vie La Belle, I believe, is what it says. And it's really cute. And I think this one probably looks the most expensive compared to the price that you paid. So if I was to recommend any of them, I would say pick this one up. It's really cute. And you cannot go wrong for £2.50. And this, again, will look nice in a bedroom. It'll look nice in a background of a YouTube video. <laughs> it would look nice on a sofa. It would look nice anywhere. So super super cute right i've been wondering what this package was and then i looked at my order on, my, on the app and this is so cool so i basically picked up a tropical leaves cloth wall art three piece set and you're not going to believe the price for this this was five pounds for three pieces of art which is insane now, this is a moment of truth because realistically they could look absolutely horrendous. I have no idea, but as we are renting this space at the moment, I thought I don't really want to be making any holes in the wall or anything. And yes, you can use command strips and stuff, but cloth wall art just sounds so cool. I mean, if I could just stick them up literally with some tape, that's just winning to me. And I like to have a bit of color around the place. Okay, it's not horrendously bad so this was what was inside it to keep the shape so that's one of the digital printed art pieces oh i like this one the second one is a palm leaf that's pretty cute and the third one oh my favorite this is my favorite we've got again two palm leaves if you can just visualize this stuck at the back somehow stuck up 
looking all cutesy. It just adds something to a room, you know? Like, even to this background, I think it just adds a little bit of something. And for five pounds for three of these, that's really not bad at all. I mean, this reminded me a lot of the beautiful Desenio prints, which I have ordered from Desenio before. I think they're super affordable and I love them. But like I said, because we're renting at the moment um, and we're probably not going to be here long term, I'm not really willing to be investing in frames and, and beautiful pieces of art yet. Like, I'd rather just go for cheap and cheerful and this could look much more high end in my opinion. So, yeah, like, I, who knew that Shein did wall art for five pounds for three pieces? I didn't know that, but now you do, so great. <laughs> All right, and now we come to the portion which you'll probably be most excited for. And I'm sorry this has been such a random mishmash order of things. And it's been such a random haul, hasn't it? Like you've got some winter items, some summer holiday items, nail cutters and sheet masks and a waterproof phone cover, just the most random things ever. But anyway, these are the summer clothes. And this is what Shein are most well known for. I didn't even know they did home stuff, but anyway, this is what they were most well known for. And these are the three items that I picked up. You can kind of see them in the packets. I have brought clothes from Shein before and I've quite liked them but the fit can be very funny because it is literally coming straight from China and sometimes the fit can be very off. Now I have stuck to medium for most of these I believe. The first item that I picked up and I got this with the intention of wearing it with some white trousers is a lace eyelet flower print dress and I got it for £11.50 which is not the cheapest but it looks really really cute on the model and I got it in a size small and I think I can get some pretty good wear out of it. Straight away, it's a very thin material, definitely made out of cotton. I really like this, guys. How cute is this? I loved how it has long sleeves and they are flared as well. And the design is very much like a gamise. You know, my Pakistani girls, my Asian girls, you'll know. It looks like a gamise. It's about knee length and it will just be perfect with a pair of white trousers, which I'm on the hunt for. So I really, really like this. I'm so happy I picked it up. And actually, small, mm, could be a bit bigger hugging, but we shall see. I'm definitely taking this on holiday with me though. I think this will look really, really nice. And again, because it's got the long sleeves and it's pretty thin and lightweight, for any really, really warm days we have, it will be perfect. So yes, super happy with that. That was a great sort of first summer holiday buy. The next thing I've got is a leaf print cutout dress and I got this in a size medium and it is £7.40, which is insane. Now this is a very like relaxed style dress. There's really not much shape going on here. But again, you've got the longer sleeves. Ooh, so this material straight away feels a little bit more canvassy than this shorter dress I've just shown you guys. And I love the colours of this. It's like dark blues and it kind of reminds me of Istanbul and Turkey with the whole sort of print that's going on here. Let's see the length of this. Oh, it's um, possibly a little bit short, but no, no, it actually looks okay. And the sleeves on this are a really, really good length as well. So hopefully medium is gonna be the perfect size. Has got a bit of an eyelet detail going on here, which isn't the end of the world because really simply I'm gonna have my hijab on anyway. I think to be honest, you could probably get away wearing this with a turban style hijab if that's what you wanted to do. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of good wear out of this. I've picked up like three or four Shein dresses like last year. I didn't end up going anywhere on holiday. And the final dress is again, another blue one. Um, I definitely was more drawn to their blue items. This is a vertical stripe drawstring maxi dress and I got it for £10.28. Straight away, the material, it feels very, very thin. So perfect for hot weather. I'm just hoping it's not see-through in any way. But I really like the style of this. I got this in a size medium again. It's kind of a little bit tent-like, which I love. <laughs> because realistically, when you're on holiday, you want to just be able to wear loose clothes that don't stick to you in the heat and that still make you feel good. It's got a drawstring waist here to add a bit more shape, which is nice. And then again, it's got long sleeves, which is what you want, especially as a hijabi or someone who dresses modestly, that is what you want for the summer. You don't want to be taking clothes of you that you have to layer up or put long sleeves underneath or whatever. And like I said, I envisage wearing dresses most of the time. So yeah, that is my Shein haul. I am 
really really pleased with everything that I ordered so far and pleasantly surprised at the home stuff as well who knew that they had such a cool variety of homeware things I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please make sure that you subscribe and I'm not going to say that word again because I know I've said it so many times and it must be so annoying to hear like yes we get it you're going on holiday all right yeah enjoy yourself okay all right then all right bye I'll see you in my next one bye